but right now we only have a building that has one use assigned to it. So what I'll do now is I will I will convert this building to a mixed use building. To do so, I will first lower this part because I want to have, for example, um, the bottom part should be maybe um, service. So let's let's say some public service or something like that. And then on top of that, I will just use copy and paste command using the SketchUp uh, uh, SketchUp's functionality, meaning that I'm just clicking the control button to create a copy of an object. I will put it on top of my city block. Now, again, it became red because the permitted site coverage is exceeded, but this is because each of those two buildings are actually adding on top of it. But once we will merge them into a complex building, uh, this will already be fixed. So what I'll do now is I will change this building to from service to residential and actually make it a bit higher. Let's go. Let's make it something like that. And then I will pick both of these two uh, buildings, which in terms of SketchUp are just a group groups of faces and edges. And I will go here to the third button here, which is create complex building. Now Modeler created me a single building. It is recognized as one building that has different uses within it. I can, of course, still enter it and then modify just the part of the building. So I can actually, let me just go and undo this one and maybe create a podium building like that here. And yeah, maybe I need to align these edges a bit better. So I will just go here, select them and make sure that they are better aligned. Um, now again, yeah, the city block became red. So I will make it a bit smaller because the site coverage has been exceeded. So I just fix it to, to something like that. Of course, if, as you can see, I can create any uh, kind of floor plan for the building and convert it to to what becomes a building. So if I had something that is a uh, round shape building, so let, let's go here just for the sake of example, even if I create something that is round, click on the create building, it will convert to, to a building of any floor plan shape. Again, the city block is red, but we'll, we'll move on to this one a bit later when I'll show you the generator. Now, let's say we want to add another use to this building. Right now, we have the service at the bottom part. We have the residential at the upper part, but we also want to add an additional use which maybe is not defined here. So by default with Modeler, we have four uses, industry, parking, residential, and service. But let's say we want to create also a hotel on top of this one or another kind of residential topology. So to create additional use, uh, we go to the land use panel and in here um, we'll go to add and I'll name the new use uh, hotel. I will change the color of it to, let's say, something more on the blue side, add, and now we have added additional use to, to Modeler. Now, land uses, just for the explanation, land uses in Modeler are used both as a, in a typical sense of, of urban planning, meaning that they are assigned to actually to the city blocks in the typical planning terms as a land uses, but we also assign land uses to the building. So in this respect, they actually represent the use or the program of the building. So in this case, I'm adding the hotel because I want to create a building that will have this use attached to it. Now I need to change it a bit because when I created the new use, uh, I started from a residential and you can see that right now the hotel and residential uses, they share the same uh, requirements and the, the parameters that are being calculated. So what I'll do now is I will first change for the hotel, the primary unit from apartment to room, because I want to know how much rooms we will have in, in the hotel. And instead of residents, let's go with guests. Then I will also fix the average room size from 75 square meters to let's say 25 meters and let's say two guests per room on average. 
and maybe the parking space calculation we don't need one and a half parking space per room so i will say for this one i want to have 0 0.5 parking spaces for each room so meaning each two rooms need one parking space so here i have the options to modify the parameters of each of the uses that we are using in the in our model now that i have basically set up my my use uh, i will just enter this building uh, which is a complex building so um, i can enter it it's a group in terms of sketchup and then again using the sketchups control copy command i will just copy this bottom part on on top of itself and then I'll go here to building and switch the use from residential to hotel. And now we are getting the hotel for this part of the building. In here, there is the residential, or maybe actually we want to change it. Let's go here with the hotel and then residential with more privacy on top of it. This way you can easily switch from different different parts now uh, different parts of the building now what you can see is if i scale for example this building the bottom part you will see that once the operation is finished modeler adjusts the number of stories to my scaling and then it also adapts the upper parts so that they uh, drop nicely on on the bottom buildings or i can go here and maybe make this one um, let's say six stories you can see everything is adjusted automatically now if you need to do some cuts or something like that you can always use also the building slicer tool so let me go here and just make it a bit larger now again it became red but now i want to cut this building here so that it will align nicer if i have some construction lines here i could use those but for for the sake of this example let's just go and cut it like that and you will see that now modeler actually created two buildings um, which gives me additional level of flexibility when when designing our uh, new buildings or i could just go here and actually maybe cut this one again uh, maybe at the, at the middle of it here i can cut it and split this building in two parts and now what i can actually do is create even something like that so part of the building here is hotel part is residential this one is hotel and if i had an additional land users of course they could uh, always be applied to those uh, simple buildings or these building parts where where you have the option to modify the use of each part um, okay, now this was basically just the, the modeling part and setting up the uses. Now, moving forward, we want to see what is actually now the data, what is coming out of our design. So to, to see the data, there are a few options in Modeler.